So it's June 1st. As of the day that I'm filming this, it's June 1st. I'm gonna be so for real. When I woke up this morning, I had two realizations. One was that I had to pay my rent. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. And two, it being June 1st means there's only six months left of 2024. Now, my initial reaction, I probably shouldn't say on the internet considering this is supposed to be inspirational or whatever, was like panic. <laughs> I, like most people, feel kind of behind. Like, I know I've made a lot of progress this year. Like, a lot's happened in the past six months for me, but um, not enough, in my opinion. I'm impatient. Don't worry, I'm working on that mindset. <laughs> but then my next reaction was reflecting on what I felt like I needed to do to not feel that way, to feel like I could make good use of the next six months. And listen, I've been down the TikTok and YouTube rabbit holes. I have watched every video about how to change your life, how to be more productive, how to make a million dollars. Like I have watched and read books and, and talked to gurus and taken courses. Like I have done it all. And I honestly feel like all of the knowledge that I've learned from all of those mediums can be condensed into this one thing, trusting yourself. It's one of those things that's like simple, but hard. <laughs> How many times have you said, oh, I'm gonna start working out this week, or I'm gonna start waking up at 5 a.m. this week, or I'm gonna start doing this, but then something gets in the way. Whether it's the allure of staying asleep or the comfortability of doing what we've been doing, it's really, really easy to just fall back into old habits and trust I'm guilty of this like a hundred times over. But like I said, the last six months, even though I feel behind, have still been more transformational for me than any one like cluster of six months in the past like five years. And one of the most important things that I've learned over the past six months is how to actually maximize that skill of trusting yourself and making it a little bit easier on yourself. So the reason that trusting yourself is so hard is because your brain hates change, <laughs> even if it's good change. And that's not your fault. It's just like a subconscious primal thing. It's kind of like the sentiment that like the devil that you know is better than the devil that you don't. Even though consciously we know that working out three times a week is gonna be good for our health. Like your brain sees change and immediately goes, danger, danger, danger. And that goes back to our survival instincts. For example, when we were walking around in the dark before there were like flashlights and phones and street lamps and all those things, we couldn't see. We don't have night vision. And so our brain perceived the dark as something that was dangerous because we didn't know what was lurking out there. We didn't know if there was a tiger that was gonna eat us. We didn't know if there was a cliff that we were about to fall over. Like we just didn't know because we couldn't see. So our brain just avoided the dark altogether and said, you're gonna stay in your cave all night. You're gonna sleep and when you wake up, it'll be light, nothing to worry about. Our brain still has that instinct. It still has that pattern of being like, anything that I can't see, that I can't recognize as familiar is dangerous until it's not and that's the key when it comes to starting a new habit i'm sure you've heard of like the 21 day rule and all these other things to help you start new habits but i honestly feel like the most effective thing has been to set thresholds for myself now i used to coach people on money mindset and i used to help people manifest money and i don't coach anymore don't worry i'm not selling you anything right now i don't coach anymore um but i i was good edit most of my clients back then within one or two months hit their income goals and honestly one of the biggest parts of that one of the biggest reasons that they were able to hit those goals so quickly was this safe threshold concept so the concept basically is instead of trying to set a really high goal for yourself i don't know why i did this this is not high a high goal for yourself and just focusing on that high goal right now it's to set a safe lower goal that you can build on. So for example, if your goal is to hit 100K in a month in your business, if you're currently making less than $1,000 in your business, your brain is going to flag that 100K as super dangerous. Like that's crazy. You can't even begin to understand how to do that. And it just induces panic subconsciously and consciously for that big of a gap. But subconsciously definitely so something that i had my clients do was pick a number 
that was at the top of their threshold. So if I were to say, how does it feel when I say you're gonna make $10,000 this month? If they felt panic about it or if they felt like how I'm gonna do that, then I went lower. How does it feel when I say you're gonna make 8,000? How does it feel when I say you're gonna make 5,000? And whatever that threshold was for them, is what their goal was for that next month. And although this works really, really well with manifesting money, it also works with creating habits. If you're trying to build up to working out five days a week, you're gonna have a lot of resistance to that if you're not working out at all, right? Your brain's gonna be like, that's a big change in my schedule. I don't know how that's gonna work. How am I gonna be able to do all the things that I still need to do in the day? Yeah, da, 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 da. It's gonna overwhelm your system subconsciously. So ask yourself, okay, Five days a week seems like a lot. How does it feel when I say I'm gonna work out for 10 minutes for two days this week? And I know that when I say that, you might think, oh, like 10 minutes, two days a week is not gonna help me hit my weight loss goals. It's not gonna help me make the gains that I want in weightlifting or whatever. But the thing about habits is that they're exponential. They build on each other. So once you get consistent with that 10 minutes for two days, then you can add on an extra 10 minutes for those two days. So now you're working out 20 minutes, two days a week. And then you might decide, hey, I think I can add an extra day because this feels really good when I do this and it's really making me more productive and everything else. And when that feels safe in your nervous system to do, it's a lot easier to stick to than just going for that straight out the gate. And like I said, habits are exponential. So creating good habits like exercising, like meditating, like reading, like doing anything that you wanna do, these small habits are gonna help you create those bigger habits that are gonna change your life over the next six months. I challenge you to try this because it's going to feel like magic when you start creating these habits. Like I promise you, you're gonna feel like a completely different person. And it's not only going to help with those habits, it's gonna help with your mindset. It's gonna help with everything because not only are you committing to those habits, but now you're trusting yourself and your brain goes, oh, so she says she's gonna do this thing for me and she's actually doing it. So when she says she's gonna hit this income goal, she's gonna get this new job, she's gonna do this, she's gonna do that, then she will. And then those things will actually start manifesting for you. That being said, when I worked with people, there were some people where even thinking about things this way, it still felt difficult. Mostly for my perfectionists and procrastinators, myself included, I am very much included in both of those groups. And so something that I had them do, but also do for myself, is think about myself as a different person. And I've said this in a previous video, you should watch that video by the way, it's gonna be somewhere on the screen, I don't know. Um, but the future version of you has different things. It has different dreams, it has different people around them, therefore that person does things differently. And in order to do that, something had to change in your life, which means you're a different person. Yes, we can say we want to make our life better for the future version of you, but if it's hard for you to do things for yourself because you're a perfectionist, because you're a procrastinator, or simply because you care too much about other people and not enough about yourself, <laughs> think of yourself as a different person. Think of yourself as a person who deserves the things that you want to bring into your life. Start doing things now for the future version of you because that future version of you needs you without burning yourself out, of course. It's real simple. It's not easy, but it's real simple. You're gonna change your life in six months and you're gonna do it by trusting yourself and doing it for you. Now, if this still feels overwhelming for you, if it still feels like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? I want you to remember something that I try to remember every single day when I feel like my dreams are too big or that I'm never gonna get to where I wanna go. Your life can change any day now, like that. Start looking for evidence of that. We see people every day whose lives change overnight because of a viral video, because they booked a huge role, or they got cast on SNL, or they got a shout out from a celebrity. They are not special. They are not different than you. They are a person. They are a human being on this planet and so are you. It takes one thing to change your life. It takes one moment of inspiration, one idea, one video, one millisecond of you believing in yourself and putting yourself out there. And it can happen any one of these days. So any time that you feel overwhelmed or you feel like you can't do it, just remember, you are just one decision away. You are one moment away from that thing that you want.
you can do it. I'm gonna take the challenge of changing my life over the next six months by trusting myself and building habits the way that we talked about in this video. And I'd love for you to be my accountability buddy. Like we can just like keep each other accountable on where we are in every area, whether it's fitness, career, love, whatever it is, I just, it's always more fun with an accountability buddy. So let's be that for each other. So I'll see you in six months, but also I'll see you next week on this channel because you're subscribed and you're gonna look out for the next video, right? <laughs> I got this, you got this, we got this. Bye. <laughs>